Hitler's obsession with the Jews and living space in Eastern Europe could never have given him mass support. What was to win him millions of votes was instead his vision of a great national revival. Hitler's election opportunity came with the onset of the Depression. In a few years, one in three of the labor force was out of work. The Nazis claimed to have the answer. Ilse Wendel was a church social worker during the Depression among the unemployed in the Berlin slums. By 1932, German industrial production had fallen by almost half. Among the unemployed in these slums, she found a pervading sense of hopelessness about the future. It's the poverty which still strikes you here, very much indeed. You can see how destructed the walls are, you can see it there. The houses were so near to each other that the women talked to each other from the windows. What I do miss our children, when I came here, there were many children playing around, dozens of them. The despair was so terrible as I can't describe it. You had everywhere beggars, wherever you went in Berlin, you had beggars. The people came onto the courtyards and were singing and singing just for, for a penny. The democratic political parties offered no solution. To millions of Germans, the only hope was Adolf Hitler. I supported Hitler because he after having seen all that depravity, all that poverty here, was the only one who could do social justice to the people here. They were in a terrible misery. Using the slogan, the Führer over Germany, Hitler became the first politician to use the aeroplane to campaign in several different cities on the same day. His message was simple, only he could save Germany. By 1932, at the depth of the Depression, the Nazis, with over a third of the vote, were easily the largest political party, and easily their greatest asset was Hitler's oratory. He had that ability which is needed to make people stop thinking critically and just emote the ability derived from his readiness to throw himself totally open, to, to appear, as it were, bare and naked before his audience, to, to tear open his heart and display it. <laughs> Before the audience hear his messianic vision of a great national revival, Hitler builds up the suspense by keeping them waiting, often for an hour or more. At the speaker's platform, Hitler adds to the tension by keeping his audience waiting again. He does what no politician nowadays would dare to do. For a full minute, he stays silent. When he feels he's gauged the mood of the audience, he starts, but slowly and quietly. He had 
an actor's ability to throw on a few extra generators and suddenly become absolutely charged with energy. It wasn't as though he was using words, it's as though the emotions came direct without words almost. There was a rawness about it to power. Die nun selbst allein liegt die Zukunft des deutschen Volkes. Wenn wir selbst dieses deutsche Volk emporführen durch eigene Arbeit, durch eigenen Fleiß, eigene Entschlossenheit, eigenen Trotz, eigene Beharrlichkeit, dann werden wir wieder emporsteigen, genau wie die Väter einst auch Deutschland nicht geschenkt erhielten, sondern selbst nicht schaffen mussten. Nobody has ever had this power to move audiences. And this is not just um, the man in the street, this is many German intellectuals who are moved by this appeal and stirred by this extraordinary self-confidence in this man. And what he says is the way he says it. You come back to that. And that's a very disconcerting thing for people. They want somehow or other to explain it away. But it's there. <laughs> 